because we haven't found, um, there haven't been dramatic finds of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq after the war, I think we have to conclude that the weapons inspectors were far more successful than the Bush administration gave them credit for. They didn't verifiably eliminate every Iraqi uh, chemical or biological weapon, but what they did was to contain uh, and deprive Iraq of militarily significant chem, bio, and nuclear weapons. So even in a country that is resisting inspections um, over a decade or a period or more, um, inspections, intrusive inspections can be very effective. Um, that the United States suspended the inspections and invaded, I think, uh, is, is, it sets a dangerous precedent with respect to inspections um, uh, in the sense that the problems in North Korea and Iran um, uh, involve the illicit pursuit of weapons of mass destruction programs, specifically nuclear. And our first line of defense there to find out what's happening and to prevent those two countries from going further is to have international inspectors on the ground uh, to assess what's going on. Uh, and so what the Bush administration did in Iraq was they undercut the UN and IAEA inspectors, but we're going to need those same types of inspectors in Iran and North Korea to help us figure out what is, what is going on.